As observers on the trial trip, they will send electricians, mechanicians, physicians, meteorologists, etc. At 12 sharp, you must remember this. When the bell rings for dinner, you shall remain in the passage, lock them all up in the dining hall, and the integral will be ours. You realize that it is most necessary, happen what may. The integral in our hands will be a tool that will help to put an end to everything at once, without pain. Their arrows? Bah! They would be insignificant mosquitoes against a buzzard. And then, if it proves inevitable, we may direct the tubes of the motors downward, and by their work alone. I jumped up. It is inconceivable. It is absurd. Is it not clear to you that what you are contriving is a revolution? Yes, a revolution. Why is it absurd? Absurd? Because a revolution is impossible. Because our, I speak for myself and for you, our revolution was the last one. No other revolutions may occur. Everybody knows that. A mocking, sharp triangle of brows. My dear, you are a mathematician, are you not? More than that, a philosopher-mathematician. Well then, name the last number. What is... I, I cannot understand which last. The last one, the highest, the largest. But I-330, it is absurd. Since the number of numbers is infinite, how can there be a last one? And why then do you think there is a last revolution? There is no last revolution. Your number is infinite. The last one is a children's story. Children are afraid of the infinite. And it is necessary that children should not be frightened, so that they may sleep through the night. But what is the use? What is the use of it all? For the sake of the well-doer, what is the use, since all are happy already? All right, even suppose that is so. What further? How funny. A purely childish question. You tell something to children, come to the very end, yet they will invariably ask you, what further, and what for? Children are the only courageous philosophers, and courageous philosophers are invariably children. One ought always to ask like children, what further? Nothing further, period. In the whole world evenly everywhere, there is distributed... Ah, evenly everywhere. That is the point, entropy. Psychological entropy. Don't you, as a mathematician, know that only differences, only differences in temperature, only thermic contrasts make for life? And if all over the world there are evenly warm or evenly cold bodies, they must be pushed off in order to get flame, explosions, and we shall push. But I-330, please realize that our ancestors during the 200 years war did exactly that. Oh, they were right. A thousand times right. They did one wrong thing, however. Later, they began to believe that they were the last number, a number that does not exist in nature. 